For the rest of the members of uh, Pioneer, uh, that uh, you might not know much about uh, me, that I'll, I'll just uh, share a little bit. Um, the concept of bidding, before I, I go further, the concept of bidding, uh, how I came about this idea is that uh, my involvement in auction, uh, in high court auction and uh, land office auction for the past seven to eight years actually prompted me to come up with this concept. Uh, you know, for the past five years after 2008 Olympics, Beijing Olympics, basically property prices shoot up more than 50 to 60 percent. In Penang Island, double. That means we are talking about 200 to 300 percent. We are talking about land, landed properties, even a, a vacant land. All this actually, if you look at even in auction, even today, auction, if a property worth say 1 million, today in a normal uh, market, in auction people buy even much more higher. So all these actually are questions that actually make me think, why people in auction, they are buying, they don't mind buying a little bit extra, not buying expensive, a little bit extra. Why is that? So two things came to my mind. What is most important things that you consider as important to sell your property? Anyone? Two important things. Price. 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 Another one? Timing. Timing. Yes. If let's say you are telling, talking about selling a property at one price, but then it takes years to sell, no worth. That's why we come up with a concept of open bidding. In this open bidding concept, we stress on fair pricing. Remember, fair pricing. I am not stressing on you can buy cheaper or you can sell higher. Our main keyword is that fair pricing, no matter what. So the fair pricing, let me explain a little bit. Fair pricing is actually the price that you are willing to pay and the price that you are willing to sell. Buying and selling all depending on the timing. If let's say you really need to sell this property in this one month, what is important for you? Timing or price? Timing. timing. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, best offer comes within this one month, you will sell it off. Yes or no? Yes. yes. This is what we call getting the right price at the right time. If you give to an agent, that's where the problem comes. I'm not saying agents are bad. Huh? I'm just saying that after buying or after selling, you will be start thinking whether you manage to get or manage to buy the property at a fair price. Because all the while, agents will come to you and say, hey, you need to make decision fast, you know, there's already a buyer. Whether he's selling or the owner's selling, we don't know. So after buying and after selling, usually all these doubts will come up. When you go in after buying, you know, the neighbor of the, the particular property will say, Oh, this owner, this owner last time wanted to sell 900. Right? Uh, yeah, see ya. Uh, I buy one million now. <laughs> so these are the things will happen. Okay, fair pricing. That's what we say, fair pricing. Property management services that are backed with efficiency. Well, this is what we do. So how do we do business? So in order to get these things done, what we do is that we try to, we already created a very strong team at the back of the company where we do a lot of checking before we actually approve whether the property is suitable for bidding or not. Because not all properties worth going for bidding. If the property are in a very secluded area, you want to go through bidding, it is not worthwhile. Because very important in our bidding concept is that location. The location and the demand. This is a, these are the two important things that we feel is uh, critical in, in determining whether the property is suitable for bidding or not. The concept that we created is we call as a win-win situation whereby we make sure that the buyer buys at a fair price, seller set at a sell, uh, fair price. When you feel you are bought at a fair price or uh, sold at a fair price, is that when you can see here, the typical way of, of buying property is what? Seller, buyer, 
Negotiation. Usually there's a negotiation. So what the agents or what the normally owners will do is that they will usually set a higher price. Correct? Then you load on the price. So whoever can match immediately, you'll go for them. Correct? And buyer, same way. When they see, they offer you the lower price. Then they go higher a little bit so you can match yourself in between. This is the typical method of negotiation. Bias at this concept, if you see, if, if you were to use this idea, the negotiation method, usually is something like tassala, takohola. Huh? You say this, I say that, and uh, usually you the buyer will say, okay, fine, I'm agreeable with the buyer, with the uh, selling price. The owner will come and say, no, the terms and condition changes now. No, I'll only move out after six months after selling the house. And there are a lot of terms and conditions involved. So remember, the pricing is not the only one, also the terms and conditions. So usually, this is what will happen. Who wins that? You understand? Fine. The bidding method, this is the beautiful. This is what I say bidding method. If you look here, this is the owner, and these are the buyers. And what they do, they, there's no such thing as negotiation, negotiation but there's only competition. competition among buyers. Wait, you might be thinking, ah, if bidding, then I don't want to buy. Hmm. I make mistake. You're wrong. Remember, if there are more than four or more than one, fine. If there's no one, if you, are, you go there, you're the only one standing and there's nobody else. Hmm. What does it tell to the owner? Hey, your buyer, your property, uh, no one else, no. I'm the only one can buy, no. Thank you very much. So you are telling the owner, because you see, owners and sellers are like that. Owner sellers, their, their concept is that my property was more. Can I go not? Yes. Because all of you are owners, I know. <laughs> see, we, this is what we say. Hey, my property was 2 million, man. How come this agent come and say 1.8 million? Fine, 2 million, let me offer. Nobody comes. Nobody comes for the bidding. What does it tell to the owner? So you must remember, it is not competition. Competition, what I am trying to say is that maybe here at 1.8 million, you see, owner, how we do in a, in, a, in, a, in a typical bidding is that we create a reserve price. And this reserve price is only known to the owner and me. Owner will let us, okay, I want to sell this property at 2 million, assuming. And usually this reserve price, we don't mention out. We don't tell to the bidders. We always come up with an indicative price. This indicative price usually will be lower than the reserve price. 1.8 million, 2 million, something like that. So from here we increase and we don't reach reserve price, that means the property is not sold. So this is the concept that we, we try to do. So how what is so much different about it is that uh, we are most transparent. That means we don't keep any secrets. We bring the buyer, we bring the seller, you can match the price. And uh, our tagline is fair market value. And uh, another thing is that we can sell your property within 30 to 60 days. This is what we do. So we have fair market value and timing, which is 30 days to 60 days. Normally, agents take 90 days. All right. And the targeted customer, expatriates. Usually, expatriates, when they come to Malaysia, they don't know what's the price to buy. Sometimes, agents come and offer a price. They just buy the property, after that they realize they bought at a very expensive price. These are the customers that we are looking at. Owners of inherited properties. Maybe you have property belongs to your grandfather. Now, grandfather transferred to your uncles and, and father. And uh, there are more owners. And one want to sell, one want to sell, one want to sell high, one want to sell lower. These are the properties which is suitable. And property with many owners. Uh, I'm recently now doing one in uh, Samir Prima, where they have uh, share dispute between shareholders and one of the owner wanted to sell and the rest of them said fine you go and get a buyer we sell it off so now <coughs> we are trying to do an auction for that particular property and of course we are looking at the property in a high demand location sales manager how you may help me please uh, you can give me referrals of homeowners all right and uh, you can talk about us sushanbi.com we are the pioneer in uh, Malaysian real estate bidding uh, industry and you can also uh, support our
sales and marketing strategy. We have online and offline. Uh, you can like our page, sushambi.com, in Facebook, if possible. And uh, you, if you have any opportunity for me to talk in a forum or even in Epo or even in Penang, uh, please do so. And uh, um, any social media networking uh, opportunities. So with that, uh, I uh, end my session. Thank you. Uh, we are allowed to give one question from the floor. Finally, yeah, one. How does the video go like that? Um. Like how does how does how does uh, if I'm an owner, all right. If I'm present at the at the meeting place, all right. The, 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 the all potential drivers are also the same person. We know each other or we see each other. And how do you come into play? Okay, this is a dog gift. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got a point. Okay, dog gift is a chef pen. Okay. How much does it cost? Anyone? Two ringgit. Two ringgit. Three. Three. Eighty. Eighty. No, should be higher. Eh? After eighty, should be higher. Ninety. 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 1 to 0. So. Any offer? 1 to 0. 1 to 0. So. Thank you. Uh, Maya, Maya, Skara. Maya, Maya, Maya. Maya, Maya. Maya, Maya. Maya, Okay, once so right, he has to immediately take. Okay, once bidding, once bidding is done, once bidding is done, before you see here, uh, in, in bidding there are two important things. One is commitment. So commitment from the seller, commitment from the buyer. So always the problem is that owner want to sell at the last minute they withdraw. Seller want to uh, buyer want to buy at last minute they withdraw. So how we do we commit to both of them? We want the seller to sign agreement. We want the buyer to put deposit before they bid. Mm. So after he win, he cannot say I don't want. You don't know that. I think you take deposit. deposit. So he got problem. So even for the owner, owner say I want to sell, I want to sell. Oh, the price they want, I got it. Hey, now my wife say I don't sell. Be la, ma. I already, you already. Yeah. Commitment, but because it's not fair for the buyer. Ah. We all call, you all gather, spend time. So this is one thing that we are focusing on. Commitment from the seller and buyer. Okay. So there will be a deposit. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a good one, Jimin. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you everyone. I know you have many more questions, but time is up. I must move on in the meetings. So you can most certainly see Jimin after the meetings for more information about his business or his presentations. Let us give a, another round.